Ladies and gentlemen, do I have the name? Do I, do I ask you to solve it? No. Is there an equation up there? No. So that's not asking us to find A equals anything at all. All I want you to do is factor. And all factoring is, is writing our equation as a product of its factors. That's all we need to do. So the first thing, remember the easiest thing I always want to do, Kevin, do you remember the first thing we always want to do with factoring? Right. So well, and we can do that by factoring out the 2, which would be the GCF. It's what they all share. You always want to factor out the common terms. Any number or terms that are common, that's what you're going to want to factor out. OK, Wendy? So I look at this, and I look at and what Kevin noticed was all three of these share a 2. So I can factor out 2. So I'm left with 4a squared plus a minus 3. All right? And you guys are writing this down on your, on your homework quiz that you guys got, right? I hope so. so. Yes, sorry about that. So therefore, now I look at this and I say, is there's nothing else I can factor out, but can, how can I factor this? Now, again, I'm just going to go back to the AC method. I'll show you guys how to do it in another one. But again, we're just going to go back to the AC method. AC is going to be 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12, and then 1. So then I look down at my factors for negative 12. What two factors of negative 12 multiply, or what are the factors of negative 12 that add to give me a positive 1? So they multi what two numbers multiply to give me negative 12 but add to give me a positive 1? Yes, Brittany? 4 and negative 3. Four and negative three. Now, the most common mistakes, like when a was 1, students will do this. They do um, x plus 4 times x minus 3. And that is not the correct answer. The reason being is, does this times this equal this? No. Go ahead and do your FOIL. This times this does not equal that. Remember, factoring is taking a number or a polynomial and breaking it apart as a product. You're not changing the answer, though. You're not changing the number. You're just right rewriting it as a product. So this is not the rewritten as a product. What we need to do to rewrite this as a product is I need to now break this apart. So I'm going to or rewrite the equation. So I'm going to say 4a squared. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these two terms, plus 4a minus 3a minus 3. So what I've now done is I've written these as my middle term. Because is 4a minus 3a, is that equal to a? Yes. Now the reason why I did this is so now I can use factoring. Okay, So therefore, now I can factor out my term. So I can factor out a 4a, which is going to leave me with an a plus 1. Here I can factor out a negative 3, which leaves me with an a plus 1. And then inside this equation, you guys notice that you guys have two terms. You have this is a term, and this is a term. Between those two terms, what do those two terms share? Yes, what? They both share an a plus 1, right? So now I can factor out an a plus 1. And what I'm left with is a 4a minus 3. So there you go. Now, some of you had answers where it was like 4a minus 3 times 2a plus 1, or 2a plus 2. That 2 was distributed to that factor. That's fine. Some of you had factors of a plus 1 times 8a minus 6, because the 2 factored into that one. That's fine as well. All right? But the main important thing is you guys should see here is going to be your factored form of your answer. All right? Any questions on this? Yes, Anna? Adara? Sure. 